Native American advocates are pressuring the New Mexico government after they quietly disbanded their missing and murdered indigenous women and relatives task force. It was made to address the high rate of killings and missing person cases in Native communities. Advocates say New Mexico was at the forefront on this issue, but with the changes in New Mexico, what does it all mean for efforts here in Arizona? True crime correspondent Brianna Whitney has the story. You've heard their names. Jamie Yazzie, Laverta Sorrell, Ella Mae Begay. High-profile cases we've covered extensively of Native women killed or never seen again. Their stories have resonated as their loved ones have fought for change. Now, families from New Mexico, Arizona, California, Colorado, banded together protesting for action, feeling let down by the end of the missing and murdered indigenous women and relatives task force in New Mexico. How can it be over if we haven't even started implementing the plan? I hope all of you can join us. Darlene Gomez was part of that task force and is an attorney that works pro bono for native families in Arizona and New Mexico. Darlene says the New Mexico task force created a state response plan with more than 100 recommendations, but that hasn't been executed or implemented yet. She says New Mexico was setting the example of work being done to fix the crisis starting in 2019. Arizona has been years behind in comparison, just creating their own MMIP task force this year. I think that they have created the task force itself, but I don't see a whole lot of movement in it. Where New Mexico was actively working uh, this plan every single month, and we had monthly meetings. But that's now abruptly ended. Amplified voices at the Capitol did lead to a meeting with the governor's office last week, but Darlene says with a less than ideal outcome. We asked the governor to sign a new executive order putting forth the second portion of the state response plan and they would not commit to it. I asked the New Mexico governor's office about this and why they disbanded and was sent this response tonight that says in part, the administration is continuing substantive and meaningful progress on MMIP and expects to announce the next phase of that work soon. Darlene says since it disbanded, she stopped hearing from partners at the FBI, U.S. Attorney's Office, and other agencies. That was something she was already having trouble with in Arizona. So her hope is as they continue to fight for action in New Mexico, that Arizona's task force will continue meeting and outline changes they'll be making soon. Reporting in the newsroom tonight, Brianna Whitney for Arizona's Family.